Now you are at Plan Doctors at 7 Canary Street, Esperance in Philippines. Here you are seeing our beautiful Bergen Villas and our Croton. Right? And our pots we are using is the with the plastic pots. Right here. So we have farms, Croton, Bergen Villas. These are some of the plants that we sell. Now, but what, what is more important here now, in my hand here is what they call a grow bag. This is a five gallon grow bag. Why I'm telling you this is that we, we fill this grow bag with a thing they call cocoa peat fiber soil. So this is, this is the cocoa peat block here. And this now is compa compacted and then we break it up and we fill some things into this. So if it, to show you how we fill it, I just take this here, I fold on this bag, right? I fold into the bag, and I take my hand or I take a shovel, and these are these green lawn showers are very strong and available at plant doctors also. So take it and just pull this into this. So this is the cocoa beet here that they came in blocks like these but now they are in this thing here. So we just pull it back and when we pull it back in quarter we just put a plant into it. So we don't have to pull this back at first to get your arm, to start your plant in. So this is about what we pull here. And this is cocoa peat, it's pure cocoa peat here. It's a organic but inert material. We take this now and we go and we plant all our plants. How do we plant our plants? I'll show you, it's very simple. You get a nursery or you get a twig or something on your plant. So let's say I want to plant um, uh, a celery in it, or plant a couple of celery in it. I just open it there, I go to my celery tray, and I get a couple of celery, a celery. So I pull out one, two, three, four celery. I come back to my bag, and I just place the celery plants in the bag. I want to put two together here to make it big. I just put up my finger here and just put it in here. So it's a simple job, not too much work. Now, I'll show you something when I finish here. Is that my hand would not get dirty. It would not get mud. It, and there's no soil disease for my plants. No drying down, no melting down, no color rot. Nothing like this, and I have four celery in this bag. I just squeeze it down. I will tell you what I fertilize this later on. So we have this. Now, you can see in this is passing now going the same cocoa beef fiber soil. Same soil. This is side going, and what is the size of the side that you have there? And then we have here in the same cocoa peat, we have habanero peppers. And this is soil is going on, the same cocoa bee soil, this is how free it is. And watch this. I dust my hand and my hand is all clean again. So I don't get mud. Right? Now, you will like this pepper, you also like what they call cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper now is good for your heart. It's good as a blood thinner. It keeps you healthy and it keeps you going good. So we have cayenne pepper and now there are cucumbers here. That will go on the lines and go upwards. So you won't have a soup down to the cucumbers anymore. On the other side, we just reap tomatoes and I put back four tomatoes in the bag. And down here, we have pimentos. So you can see the amount of pimentos that are on the trees. And here, I have some pimentos that you can see. Take a good look here. You can see the pimentos. Right? Now, what is amazing is this. And can you tell me what is this? This is ginger. 
And you know, in June, July, August, September, ginger prices are very high. What you can do, my friend, is you take a bag, you quarter full it like this, put in a small piece of ginger, and this was only planted in October when I came back from the United States. And this is the size of this now. And what are this? And every shoot here gives you a piece of ginger. So the more the ginger grow, you take the same cocoa bean soil and we mold it up. As you mold it up, more shoots grow. And by the end of nine months, I am sure we can get between eight to ten pounds of good ginger roots in this. We also have melon green. Um, Go in the bags, hot peppers, pimentos. You can go anything in these, these bags. We have sweet peppers. Uh, what are the hot peppers here, my friends? Well, let's just take a look at Ah, the branch is broken. Mm -hmm. Now we'll have to pick these peppers here. So these are peppers because it's so dry. What are the peppers here? What are these green, nice ones here? So I'll give my video. Man, this branch of peppers so that he will have his meals, his dog meat good tomorrow. Right? So this is what the grow back system. I want to tell you one more thing about this grow back system. We, the, this line you see here is what you call an irrigation line. And this is the irrigation tubing and they carry what you call emitters in them. This here is a PC, a pressure compensating emitter that carries three gallons per hour. And this is connected to our stock tank there, or reservoir. The reservoir and the reservoir here have the solution. And these plants go next to the plants and they feed, we feed our plants once or twice per week. If we water, that's our tank here, if you want to water our plants, we set up our timer here. This is the timer across here. And so we have the timer here to this um, thing and we just set the time to come on once or twice a day when the sun is hot to have our plants irrigated. So this is the system that we have. It's very cheap and very simple. Now, another thing you'll notice here is that we are not walking on mud. So there are no, um, no mud, no weeds, no soil insects, no soil pests. This is called ground covers. As a builder here at Plant Doctors at $35 per yard, or you can get by the roll at a cheaper cost. And this is, we have 12 feet wide, 6 feet wide, and 3 feet wide. So you get it here at Plant Doctors, 7 Canary Street, as well as the Philippines. So for your go back project, please feel free. It's free consultancy. You don't pay for our talk, you just pay for our benefits that we give you. Thank you very much.